everyone. <laughs> a bit of a different start today. I am traveling on the highway, but uh, it won't be for long. The thing is, I had to go to Lisbon today, and on the way back, we took a different road so that I could make a visit to the plant nursery. I was in need of some supplies for the garden and also for the orchids. And uh, I was also hoping they would have some orchids to narrow down my wish list. I was not very lucky this time, but I still bought two new orchids. Soon I'll be getting home and I'll be showing you what I got. Hello, here I am at home now already and without further delay let me show you what I bought. This Symbidium, <laughs> isn't it gorgeous? It was winking at me so I had to bring it over. The flowers are quite different to the ones I already have. I mean I have another with white and green flowers but they are much smaller. And um, although the uh, orchid bloomed with a dozen or more of spikes last year, this year I see no blooms, no spikes, at least not yet. Anyway, the name of this hybrid is Green Flame, which seems quite appropriate, don't you think? These flowers are huge. All structures of the blooms are green, except for the lip, which is yellow, bordering on orange when the flowers get more mature and nearly spent. This is the only spike with open flowers, but there are other spikes and um, more buds to open. At least uh, three more spikes in different stages. Down there, this seems to be a spike too, although it's still uh, hard to see, too small. Hi Olivia! She came to say hello. <laughs> there is another growth or spike uh, on the other side, still undetermined at, at this point. This is a huge plant and tall. It is very heavy too, <laughs> but I just wanted to show you how uh, pot-bound it is. I hate to see them so pot-bound, but uh, they don't usually mind. And uh, I will wait to repot until it finishes blooming. Then I will repot in um, this plastic pot, which goes inside the, terrac pot, the terracotta pot for height and stability. I also bought a dozen of bags with cocoa chips. They do not sell them in large bags only in small ones. So I have to bring all of these. The price comes about the same as Orchiata Bark. These are appropriate for orchids, chemically tested and stabilized. And uh, in fact, when I wash them, the pH comes at about seven, which is great. Let's see what else I bought. I bought this hanging basket. I need it for a succulent plant. This is the one. It's uh, native to Kenya and Tanzania in Africa and it's growing dependent. Uh, it's Kleinia petraea, also known as Senecio Jacobsoni. 
I needed to hang it because here the snails cannot have enough of it. They are biting the leaves all the time. They eat so much. Pellets or no pellets, they don't mind. I also needed to unpot it because the substrate was invaded by the clover, uh, which is very invasive. No point in um, pulling stems because small pieces of roots always stay behind and will re-sprout. To finish with, let's see what other orchid I bought. There it is. This is a Paphiopedalum. Paphiopedalum modi vini color. It's crossed uh, with the uh, Suka Kuli. It's such a cutie. I like the colors and the patterning. The side petals have dots, <laughs> which are little lumps. The mottled leaves make it interesting all year round. I have not checked the roots yet, but uh, it seems to be a vigorous plant. Apart from the fan now blooming, there are two more fans in different stages of development. This is a cross of three species of um, Paphiopedalum in the Barbatum section, which are mostly warm growing and uh, with flowers that uh, last uh, can last for several months. Well, this is all I bought this time. I hope you like my new orchids. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time watching this video. Take care and have a great week. Bye-bye.